Here's Storm Team 10 meteorologist Chris Cozart. Welcome back after a little bit of a stormy start across parts of Acadiana sunshine starting to break through those clouds. That's not necessarily a good thing that will destabilize that atmosphere a little bit quicker and we will get more scattered showers and thunderstorms. I think this afternoon as well. We are tracking some rainfall back to the west there of Lafayette, but as we check our sky 10 camera here at a bass a lot of blue skies, even a little bit of a towering cumulus cloud there in the distance. No problems there in Ambassador Caffrey for your lunch break. Nice and dry right now. Now it's muggy. Now I say dry. That means it's just no rainfall at the moment. Upper 80s here in Lafayette feels like 98 just feels real steamy again. I'm going to go with a high around 92. Another round of scattered showers and thunderstorms. It could extend through this evening and then boy, it was a, a tropical like morning across Acadiana. Upper 70s, lower 80s with temperatures through those overnight hours. Storm Team 10 radar again turning a little bit more active. A good amount of rainfall fell right here where I'm circling between really Lake Charles and Southern Jeff Davis Parish. In fact, they were under a flash flood warning, so any additional rainfall that may fall there. They're going to have to be on a very watchful eye there for any additional flash flooding that may occur. They were having some issues there right around the airport there uh, in Lake Charles. Otherwise, some moderate to heavier rains now moving back into Lake Arthur and Jennings. Some scattered activity definitely developing and that chance of rain now getting back into that 40 to 50 percent range before everything really settles down. I think the weekend turns a little quieter, but even hotter. I think we're going to hit the mid 90s pretty easily there Saturday and Sunday right now. It's steamy, upper 80s, lower 90s. Look at the dew points, uh, 74 to almost 80. And when we get to 79, it's almost unbearable outside. And that's bringing those feels like temperatures, 90s to low 100s. Not as high as it was earlier this week, but pretty close. I'm still bringing that heat index. Your feels like temperature 103 to 105. Between 105 to 108 this weekend with highs in the mid 90s and some isolated showers and thunderstorms. There's some scattered rain again on the satellite and radar. Lock going on here. A lot to talk about uh, coming up this weekend when it comes to the tropics as we still have the wave that's in the Western Caribbean. Not uh, overly concerned with any development there as it's moving into the Bay of Campeche, but we have three separate areas. We have that area there and now off to the east. This is more than likely going to become barrel here as we go through the weekend. Uh, the National Hurricane Center giving a 90% chance that this becomes at least a depression, but you can see that textbook look on there when you switch over to the visible satellite starting to get its act together and starting to become what looks like almost a bowling ball there on your visible satellite. So again, three separate areas that the National Hurricane Center is watching. That's what we see in August and September, not the end of June. And our main focus is going to be that area there across now. It looks like the central Atlantic, so a 90% chance that that becomes a depression. Again, more than likely this will become barrel. Here's the latest tropical models right through the heart of the Caribbean Sea. Normally this would be a concern for us, but overall, a lot of the models in pretty good consensus that will continue that almost due westward track the European model, which a lot of people tend to watch for those global models when it comes to hurricane systems, keeps it well south and going into Central America. There is really no case so far, no models suggesting that this would make a hard northerly turn, but we're still in that seven to 14 day period. It doesn't reach the Caribbean until early next week, so it's it's a long way away. It's a lot of forecast uncertainty beyond that seven day period, so something we're just watching with a close eye at this point. Scattered showers and thunderstorms this afternoon for us are going to fade away this evening. Isolated activity for the weekend. If you need to cut the grass, boy, it's just going to be hot. Mid 90s, hydrate, take those breaks. 94 Saturday, Sunday, 95 Monday and there's your Independence Day on Thursday. Very hot, but just a pop up shower thunderstorm chance. We're going to be back in a few minutes.